binded to this is uh, this other concept that is uh, uh, written into the library. So any, any uh, application using Plasma will have this for free. Is the concept of uh, remote applets. Uh, a Plasma shell can uh, export on the local network every widget it's uh, running at the moment with zero conf. And if uh, it's, uh, it's uh, an applet written in C++, uh, on both parts, on both the server and the client, it has to be already installed. If it's written in a, in a binary language like JavaScript, when uh, with, a, with a client machine I will browse the, uh, the network, and I choose to install um, a Plasma widget that it's not already in my machine, uh, the whole Plasma package will travel over the, ne over the, over the network and install over on my machine. Uh, it's not only a way to uh, share those plasmas, but uh, it's, all, it's also a way that uh, could um, offer some uh, uh, feature of remote control. For instance, the, all the data engines and the, server and the services won't run on the client machine, but will continue to run on the server machine. So, uh, a pretty nice example could, uh, could be uh, on the uh, media center uh, user interface we are developing. It could uh, share a even pretty uh, feature-rich remote control with a, with a UI optimized for mobile device. With my mobile device, I could uh, browse the network, install it, and uh, use it for controlling uh, my media center over an encrypted connection. Uh, this uh, is uh, a pretty uh, a new thing because uh, some of the uh, media center that exist right now offer similar uh, features with, um, but with uh, an application that has to be already installed on the device uh, while this way it will be uh, just installed and uninstalled on the fly and will be, we will always know that is the right version, it's the last update, uh, etc. Okay, now let's do on some examples uh, of, uh, of uh, um, primary user interface that we d develop that are uh, not the desktop but are things that are um, li little bit more, uh, uh, let's say, interesting because uh, um, because are less explored area. So uh, the netbook. Uh, case and uh, the mobile case. Uh, first, first thing different from a, for a, from a desktop. Of course, uh, we did the netbook uh, in part because it was um, the less alien uh, platform. So uh, much, much more of what we had uh, uh, could be uh, possible to uh, use as it was. But why doing a a different UI for netbook devices that, after all, are just look look like just a, a smaller a smaller laptop laptops that could could a desktop use there? Uh, of course, it's it's what it's uh, used at the moment, but uh, uh, we believe it's not uh, the the right answer, and because uh, not uh, not only for uh, Power, power issue because they are fast enough, but uh, for screen size that is not the resolution, they, they, they are starting to have pretty high resolution, but the physical size, it's, uh, it's uh, never over uh, 10 inches, and since your, your eyes don't zoom, you need something that is optimized from, for a small physical size. So uh, the the normal uh, unmaximized window windows don't really 
uh, and partially overlapping windows don't really work well in this case. Also, the concept of, of the desktop window, something that is always in the ground, doesn't work really well there uh, because it's, it's an area that it becomes almost impossible to reach. So we made, uh, we made uh, what it was, the desktop window, we made it something that looks like an application, so a, a, a window that, that it's, it's a list uh, alongside all the others and that can be chosen uh, and bring in front of the other windows. And we don't have uh, space either for the, the taskbar because it will get uh, crowded and filled up after four or five applications. So what we have instead is um, is a grid of um, um, of previews of the application that looks a bit like uh, a bit like the N900 uh, switcher or even the the Mac Expose, but in a in a regular grid fashion. The actual interface, uh, but uh, why screenshot when I do have the real thing? <laughs> uh, the actual interface. This is what uh, you see uh, as soon as you turn on the, the netbook. It's uh, a, a screen that it's basically a full screen menu, but really important with a um, with a search box that is always visible and uh, it's uh, advertised, uh, really good uh, advertised. So uh, this, why? Uh, because uh, a little more than one year ago, um, INDT uh, did a small uh, usability test on current desktop user interface and they found that uh, new users uh, are um, really in trouble with the uh, classical start menu structure because it's difficult to navigate, it has uh, small targets and because of the tree-like structure, uh, so categories, subcategories, sub-subcategories, um, they found that many users, especially the inexperienced one, found uh, the, those data structure of the tree really hard to, to be mapped into the brain. They prefer a, a, flat, uh, a flat structure even if the entries are quite a lot. B, they really like uh, uh, the search features if they work. Uh, and they, um, oh in, the, in the test they also did try um, KRunner, that is a um, a small application that uh, the KD4 um, provides that it's um, this little window uh, let's uh, this, this little window that pops up and lets you to search things uh, those things could be um, install, installed applications that could be uh, preference windows that could be uh, indexed file on your hard drive and uh, also also the, the things that actually do the search are uh, plugins so it can be extend but the problem was it's no it was not uh, uh, discoverable enough so people tend to not use that because uh, it's not prominent and alt f2 was hard to remember so we have exactly this, uh, the same backend. Uh, we have exactly the same backend uh, with uh, the same pl search plugins, but with a uh, completely different UI. With a, with a different UI that uh, it's uh, easier to discover, easier to use, and it has big icons. We uh, always uh, designed uh, these, of course we have, we, we, we have uh, a good demo effects today. <laughs> well, um, no, it's completely, ha 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 ha, great. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll just wait. Uh, well, until I okay. Until I, 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 I wait that it uh, resurrect. I will say the rest. Uh, we designing these. Uh, we also uh, always paid attention that it would also add work on uh, touch screen. Um, hey, here it is. Okay. Uh, it also did work on uh, touch screen uh, uh, based user interfaces because at the time uh, netbooks uh, were, were uh, not touch screens probably in the future uh, uh, more and more will be and uh, probably we will uh, uh, use this interface since it's pl pretty clear also on uh, different kind of devices that I will show the other shell running uh, here so it's not a touch screen the experience will be horrible but uh, whatever uh, some something that it's um, designed for touch screen that I can show right here if this list is long enough uh, it's not okay no, never mind but uh, all this all, all the list of the result it's flickable uh, so uh, by clicking in or tapping in any point of the list it's possible to scroll to scroll the view with an animated effect just like the QML uh, list views and it's possible to um, to drag around uh, everything without uh, need uh, of um, any things anything like uh, hover effect or right clicks uh, or whatever and this is uh, one of the what we call pages that are actually activities we are uh, also in the netbook uh, based uh, on the concept of activities everything that is shown by the, the main user interface is uh, um, if you remember what when I uh, talked uh, uh, when I was talking about uh, the architecture is a containment this is a, a containment that works in in a pretty different way than the desktop we don't um, the um, free layout didn't make sense there because there was not enough space so this uh, uh, that we call the newspaper is a, a layout that puts widgets in two columns and uh, it's possible to browse it around as it was a real newspaper and also there uh, is a, a flickable widget so it's uh, really easy to use also on touchscreen I can just uh, touch everywhere and drag it without uh, actually having to use the scroll bar that uh, will uh, eventually uh, disappear on uh, uh, only touch based uh, interface when it, uh, while it will remain on things like a netbook that are uh, operated by a touchpad. Uh, 